Hey guys, I'm gonna do it here. So yeah, welcome back to another video. So this one's gonna be one of those sit down and we chat videos. But today guys, I wanted to touch up on something that's been going on in the FNF community. So I'm sure some of you are aware of the news that had just happened today. Hypno's Lullaby just got canceled. Darn it, dude. Like, listen, this was a mod that I've been, that I think all of us, I think we're pretty excited for. And then all of a sudden, some leaks got out of control, one of the dev teams turned on them, and then just, just gone. So, I started digging around the FNF community, and I have started to notice a few things. But, before we jump into that, I want to explain in, in a little bit of what happened to those mods. And, uh, you know, touch on that. So, yeah. For a majority of this video, I will be reading a script that I ended up making... Because usually when I make scripts, it's or like, you know, no, read them. I can't memorize everything correctly, but, but here we go. So, yeah. Oh, and by the way, this is also a remake of an older video that I did, did a while back. It was called The Problem with the FNF Community, or Friday Night Funkin' Community. And I did a little bit more of an explanation and description. So, this video will, that video will now be considered old, and this guy is the new one. So, let's begin. So, starting off with the biggest one, we have Tails Gets Trolled. Oh boy, I'm pretty sure some of you may have seen this webcomic. But basically, it is a very mature comic, and it's uh, very chaotic. But to simplify it, basically, Tails Gets Trolled, and they go to war with like a bunch of different characters. It gets a little crazy, but let's basically discuss on how this mod got cancelled. So the first, so the biggest red flag of how this mod got cancelled was one of the dev members coming out and, uh, let's just say not being the best person. So, a lot of the, so a majority of the team lost a lot of motivation, and this kind of led to this whole thing about the project being cancelled. But then it came back in a reboot. But then the dev team left due to a lack of motivation. So, yeah, that is pretty sad to see. One of the biggest mods getting cancelled. But not as big as this one. Versus Sonic.exe. Oh boy. Now, before we jump into this thing, we need to clarify two things. There's a very deep rabbit hole that goes into this one. And second of all, this mod is coming back in the form of Sonic.exe rerun. Which is going to stow away from the original and like be something that references that but but it's not a sequel so let's begin so our story started after version 2's release so one of the dead members members who i'm not going to say their name ended up, ended up framing revy the the original v2 director the whole community turned on revy and this led to her character exe being removed and her being kicked out of development they put avery avery in charge of with along with a few other members and despite the majority of dem members, which is like 60 of them, the community ended up leaking stuff, doxing them, and just being jerks to everyone. And while there is an unfinished build of, of what you can play and what was left of there, it's kind of sad to see this mod. But this is where things get weird. So Large Lenny, who is now the official voice actor for Normal CD and the owner of him after, you know, more controversy which I'm not going to get into, he ended up finding evidence that Revy got framed. So, there's a lot of back and forth that went down before one of the, the members said that Revy was in fact framed. So, Revy is still deactivated on the community, like she's not coming back. So instead, Yoshi Leaks, a friend that Revy has, ended up, ended up now taking the ownership of EXE. He's making his own mod uh, to bring him back into the community. So, yeah. There's that as well. And now, Mistful Crimson Morning. Now, this mod did get cancelled a while back, but it got a whole heap of, a, of attention from the community. And everybody loved it. So the team decided to form... So the original team formed a new team, and they decided to work on it. However, for when one of the members was wondering what a very inappropriate word, which I'm not going to reveal in this video, it, it was about... Word, basically meant controversy occurred and the mod got cancelled and this time not 
Not for a bit, bit of getting resurrected, but for good this time. There is still a playable build, and a lot of content, content that did make it in there is now being moved to Nightmare Squidward. There, there are some specifics, but not everything is being moved there. And finally, the most recent one, Friday Night Funkin' Lullaby. Now, I'll be honest here, I'm no big Pokemon fan, but this mod is still nostalgic to a lot of fans, and I can respect that. But basically, Bambud said a, an inappropriate word on a private VA on Discord. They apologized for it privately, but then some member of the team turn, turned against them and uploaded a finished build, build of V2. The whole community he started the drama with Bambuds, and the mod got cancelled. And this was meant to come out in 10 days. 10. Are you kidding me, dude? So, yeah. There's a lot that's into there, and I recommend you guys go check it out for yourself. Elf. So, now let's talk a little bit about the problem within the community itself, now that we've made it this far. So, what is the problem? The problem is that there's a lot of going on things. The community is so fired up on the, some of the smallest things and turning them into the biggest things and leaking things. And I think this is mostly because of, of the main game's, game's upcoming week 8. But here's something that all of you, you, you need to know. And this is something that I've always wanted to say, but game development is a very long and tiring process. A massive time where we had to wait for games to be developed was in the new LEGO Star Wars game. This game took a massive amount of time with numerous delays, but when it came out, it came out as a bit of a glitched mess, but it for, well, for a few areas, but luckily they were able to fix some of that. However, for, for I do have some advice for all of you. Any FNF moderators out there, or, or so, you know, mod creators and so, please make sure you create a private Discord for you and the friends that you trust. And also, I want you guys to make sure to to report any tweets eats, eats from YouTube like, you know, report any tweets or YouTube videos covering some of these leaks because these ones are going to hurt a majority of the community because of what they do. So, yeah. So, everyone, I want you guys to be safe and secure on your Discord. And I want this message to be shared everywhere in the public, everyone. So, yeah, make sure you share this video with everyone. Just everyone. Just share it with your friends everyone on every okay make sure sure ev this okay but basically <laughs> darn it okay basically let me redo that so basically what i'm trying to say is share this with your friends whoever you trust on your discords just everyone in general just please share this with everyone because this is such a big problem in the fnf community it needs to stop okay all right i'm sorry if i started at the end there but it's late, and I want to do something else for a bit of the day. So, yeah. And do not worry, guys. I am planning to do FNF content again. But, guys, I do have some bad news, though. I'm not going to be doing any any Hypnos lullaby by content due to all the controversy getting out recently. And I made the decision not to do a video on it because of every one thing that's been going on. Like... I still have the mod downloaded, but I'm not playing it, and I think I may just delete it because of everything that's going on. Alright guys, uh, I want you all of you to take care. I'll see you all in the next video. See you guys.